Welcome back to today's to something as always a little bit different. This week we have a competition. Each day of the week we'll release a long form video of a new game. Monday we have Frostpunk, Tuesday's Ixion. Right in the middle we have City Skylines for Wednesday, with their forgotten but beloved game of Astroneer on Thursday. Nearing the end we have Hades on Friday and to finish it all off we have the long awaited Isaac Repentance on Saturday. Each episode will run a full 7 days and be tallied on its views and interaction. So if you really like one of these games that released this week, then make sure to share the video around to your known humans. The video with the most views and interaction will win a full week of episodes. And if you guys really like it, we can always do more. So make sure to subscribe to check out the new content and comment down below which one you think will be the winner. Enjoy the video. Welcome DigiDs to what is probably one of my more favorite games out there. That's right, it is Ixion. So thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you for checking it out. Thank you for allow me to show you this experience that is this amazing game now it may not be everybody's forte so for everybody who may not be fond of it is a city builder but in a different new format feel free to check it out at least for a few minutes because the amazing the, the opening cinematic is absolutely jaw-dropping and then honestly if you feel free to even check it out for like you know 5 10 15 whatever minutes then we're going to be moving on to like past the tutorial area and then into an even more amazing part of the story. So I have played this a little bit before, but I've never actually been able to finish this game because I always typically get busy. You know, I never really manage to have enough time to finish it all the way through. Then by the time I come back, I just feel like restarting. So, hey, I'm excited to show this to you guys. I hope you guys like this game as much as I do. It is very story driven. It is great. It has a lot of a lot of heart and like care to the game you can tell that people who developed it really cared for what you know their creation in general and honestly I'm, I'm excited to show it to you guys you know hey so enough from me blabbering on if you want to see more share it around make the videos win we'll make an entire week of playing this game all the way through to the end we'll have a grand time with it and maybe even more so thank you let's jump in new game default mode your hull needs constant maintenance your crew is demanding your accidents are frequent and your resources are limited Launch game. Launch control, we have typing clearance for shuttle launch. Initiate Stanford protocol. You know, hey, if you guys like this game, feel free to buy it yourself because I tell you what, 
the sound design it does it, it does not do it justice watching it through a youtube video that equalizes all the sound it, it playing it yourself the sound on this intro and all the music is absolutely superb and also look forward to hearing more ixion music in the background of future videos now that i've played this again i guarantee you i'm gonna go i'm gonna download the entire soundtrack and just put it in the background of video sometimes if i need to <laughs> all right more dialogue we got our tutorial people talking i'll let them speak let's get let's get a feel for what we're doing here Okay, so we're just another corporate worker, pretty much, then, it seems like. Oh, yeah, thank you for working for the company. We love the company. <laughs> Welcome aboard the Tycoon. You will spend your life here. Thank you for helping our company, ex ex you know, explore. <laughs> so that I may more accurately respond to any needs you may have. My psychological profile is broken, my man. My robot. automated systems function efficiently. I will keep track of the tasks that are necessary for you to fulfill your prerogative of reaching Proxima Centauri and carrying out field research, mining operations, manufacturing protocols, and Dolo's colonization tests. So they pronounce it Proxima Centauri? Tori? Not Tari? Tori? You know, I, 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 can, I have heard that before, that people, like, I, I heard that was a thing before, that that's how you actually pronounce it. Proxima Centauri. Tori, not Tari. Because it's just our dumb American brains going like, you know, tar, I don't know, minotaur, minotaur, tar, tar, mini, 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 tar, tar. Yes, I'm quoting, was it Tobuscus? Was it Tobuscus that made that song? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, we are starting to get into a little bit of the town building, but the next train mission is coming along and we'll start building and I'll, I'll get in, right into, you know, what all of this on the screen means here shortly. I think we have a little bit more dialogue. And we'll get started right there and get started on our city building. I, I promise you this. Uh, I'm excited to show this game to you guys. Uh, it's it's amazing. You know, they're setting everything up. I love all the dialogue. I love the premise of the game. And hopefully we can get through this tutorial area fast enough and really get into the meat of what the game is. So yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the game. And I I thank you. <laughs> First with the eating an apple. Hi there, Gavon and Gavani. Introduce you to your first tasks personally. I'm Dolose's cryonics lead, Marduk council member Giovanni Batista. So, let's see. Your first objective will be to begin setting up essential infrastructure aboard the Tycoon, meeting the environmental conditions that are required to support your crew. Having laid. You will then oversee the installation of the Vol engine and perform a short test jump to Proxima Centauri. Upon arrival, your research teams will carry out a brief survey of local space, gather a few rock and coal dust samples, fire up the colonization protocol, begin building the foundations for mankind's future, yada yada yada. And then, you'll come back. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to familiarize yourself with the Tycoon's core functions. It's no big deal. There's the production, stockpiling and distribution of resources, construction, balancing of power output with allocation. Oh, and space exploration, you know, setting out expeditions and all that. Basically, everything needed to establish scientific advancement and harmonious autonomy on board the Tycoon following the first test of its Vol engine. Eden's gonna display and keep track of your main objectives. Oh, and Administrator, don't let the position go to your head. Veneer has insisted to center Dolos's focus on the Tycoon, but this mission is just in preparation for our next project, the Protagoras. The Marduk Council worked damn hard to pull this mission together ahead of schedule. So, toe the line, do as you're told, and bring the Tycoon back in one piece. Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us, okay? One last word of advice. 
We don't all think like Veneer Dolos. As of yet, no human law has been officially established amongst the stars. That sounds like an opportunity knocking to me. Okay, first of all, I don't know why, but I feel like I need to call you like John Jameson or what? What is that guy like? We're bringing pictures on Pirate Spider-Man. <laughs> it just your voice sounds very similar, but um, like so. Hey, by the way, there's no laws in space, and you're gonna be in a floating arc called the Tycoon out in space, out at a new planet on a new planet colonization with no laws and a no laws out on a planet away from Earth and a planet on no laws. So, uh, hey, just by the way, cool, just gonna mention to you, if you can just go ahead and just make any law you want, you know, we don't all think like the company, but, you know, if you can, you know, profit for the company, the company, we love all the company, <laughs> you know, like, okay, yeah, but I don't know what you're trying to suggest here, Giovanni Batista or John Jameson or bringing his pictures of Spider-Man out here. You got that, you got that jawline though. You got that, that turt. It's not a turtle. Like, what is that? Just a very nice, like, jumper suit or whatever. That jawline, the suit. Ah, oh, hello. <laughs> so, hey, I, I hope you guys are excited to come along with this. And, you know, it is a city builder. So, you know, maybe some of the dialogue and commentary of playing this game isn't always going to be 100% riveting and be like, and then we save the world. And, well, apparently, I mean, well, hey, and no, actually, speaking of which, you know, we, he's, what does he say here? Leave the grand gestures and saving of mankind from ecosystemic destruction to us. Okay, so, you know, we actually are saving the world. We are going to Proxima Centauri in this experimental arc of a ship. Try to find another planet to colonize because we have completely destroyed Earth. So let's go to another planet and destroy Proxima Centauri. <laughs> you know, like, oh, yeah, we definitely learned our lesson. Definitely, you know, from, you know, but it's too late to fix it now. So let's just go to a new planet, start over. Start fresh, New Year's resolution, new planet, new me, who dis, you know. <laughs> All right, well, close transmission, and I think we're getting right into the meat of now playing the game. All right, beautiful, cool, sexy, great, awesome. So, this is where we're going to start. All these things here on the screen. Right now, these are all little stockpiles and supplies and larges and, like, little resources that are just laying around for us to collect. So, first of all, we need to build a road to all of them. We need to connect a little bit a road to all of these points now don't worry the roads are completely free they don't cost anything you can kind of just build them around wherever you want so you can just kind of just yeah as, as you can see just kind of click and drag just build them around there we go beautiful i i think those are connected there Ooh. you can zoom all the way into you can kind of see all these people like walking around see where like the build queue is they're just kind of walking back and forth on these paths for like no particular reason Honestly, just extra computational data on the computer for, you know, no particular reason other than just like sense of reality, I suppose. <laughs> you know, I suppose, you know, whatever works. We connect all these rows up to the main central kind of like hub point here. And we now to start building any of this stuff, we're going to need a workshop. A workshop is what makes our little kind of like worker dudes because, you know, workshop worker dudes makes sense, right? Simple enough. Uh, to start off with, let's go ahead and just put one right there and we're gonna need to stockpile to start like putting all these resources in we can put i don't want to put one right there because i think i'm going to build another workshop in a moment when we have a chance but i'm going to kind of just like play these around randomly we can we can destroy these later and move them around more later as well i'm just going to kind of place them around just for the moment so we can kind of store a lot of stuff and then like move stuff around as we need them so go ahead and put like I, this stockpile is going to store all of our steel that's sitting around this stockpile is going to store more steel that's sitting around this one's going to stockpile. What are all these little green things? This is, they have polymers. Okay, so they are going to be storing all these polymers. If there's something else that I'm missing, anything else? Anything else that I'm missing? Oh, food. Food. This one has 60 food in it. Okay, so yeah, we need one to stockpile our food as well. Boom, baby. We are good to go. And I say, let's go ahead and just start getting things collected and taken down and built before we start getting anything more into this game. So, uh, take a breath <laughs> for me. You know, I'm talking to myself. I'm, I need to take a breath <laughs> and just kind of relax. Okay. So yeah, I hope you guys have been having fun for a uh, check week is what I've been kind of calling it. We're just kind of checking out a whole bunch of games, a lot of stuff that I wanted to show you guys. And it's kind of. The funny thing is with all these games, I feel like they're not really games that you necessarily want to fully make videos on. I'm kind of just selecting all these to collect up all the resources. 
it's not there are not all games that you really like make a full series on usually like it's kind of something you like play as a one-off and then call it good you know maybe like one or two episodes of playing it in a sense because you know a lot of people don't typically like, usually heart you don't know, like tuning into these styles so that's why i'm kind of doing a little bit of the check week it's oh hello hi ian i was talking but yeah you you, you go ahead you, you go ahead oh it's a scientist emma clain okay well first of all apologize um <laughs> Um, yeah, so I mean, yeah, I, I'm kind of doing it to see which one of all these games that you guys would like to play. You know, surprisingly, I accidentally included three city like builders. I didn't even, I wasn't even aware of it, you know, because we got Frostpunk, we got, you know, here we got Ixion, and then tomorrow we got City Skylines. Uh, I, I didn't even like think of that at the moment, like, oh, now we got three city builders. <laughs> so I didn't realize I was doing that, but you know, that is what it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and collect up, let's start collecting up a lot of these smaller resource ah that was 63 well i can't uncollect that that's fine and then we're probably gonna you know let's just collect everything just collect everything just get everything while i'm talking and people are talking may as well just collect everything we're probably gonna need another stockpile though because that is a lot of stuff i know next transmission is about to happen um we need another stockpile because yeah a lot is going on um am I, how many more am i gonna need i'm, I'm gonna put Administrator. we're gonna need a lot hi emma Okay, let's look at the request real quick. What's the what's the event? Administrator, Tycoon crew members are currently unable to access food supplies. That code and protocol is direct to the construction of a mess hall. This building is designed to distribute food from our stockpiles to the crew. Guaranteeing access to food supplies would reaffirm your competency as the administrator. That is right. So, okay, hang on. So, that's right. We are essentially only answering to the people who are on like the board of directors of the company. We love the company. We love, love, love the company. Okay. <laughs> that's going to be a reoccurring. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, it, so we are only answering to like a board of directors on the company essentially. And honestly, so we are kind of like working for like glamour, like almost like super monopoly of a sense. I don't know. We are the tycoon. We are going out to explore. This is basically the, the this is the essence of SpaceX, right? SpaceX is going to be like the first people to like get to, you know, Mars with their starship. You know, the thing which surprisingly I do have some starship, you know, content on the channel. You know, I did some little live streams and talked about it a little bit. Um, I was completely wrong about my predictions and what went wrong. But, you know, hey, whatever. <laughs> uh, you know, Scott Manley got that one right. But um, let's go ahead and ensure your access to food. Communal dining, new objective, communal dining, and access listening protocol. Uh, clicking all the stuff in the background as you see me building close transmission. But, um, you know, so uh, I, what was I even just talking about? Um, crap, what was I even just talking about? What was I just talking about? Oh, ADHD, don't do this to me now. What was I just talking about? Hang on. 
hang on hang on give me a moment oh right i think that's what i think that's what we were talking about the, the fact that yeah we're working for like a super company up in space like we're gonna be the ones that revolutionize the world we're gonna save everybody we are essentially spacex you know just trying to you know like save everyone more or less so we need a mess hall real quick let's go ahead and build a mess hall right down there i'm kind of building everything very haphazardly just random around in the area because we are going to be moving like all this like believe me trust me we're gonna be moving all this stuff around out of the place so right off the bat let's get another workshop i kind of want to let's see here how do we want to do things can i fit we only have three spaces there four spaces there but you know what what we can do let's get rid of some of these roads put a stockpile let's say put a stockpile right there we can put a workshop right there yeah we can fit two pieces right there build this road up around the edge beautiful i want this one to hold my food because that's gonna be like a primary like location right there kind of like just get the workshop get the food like the two most things i'm going to need the most i do kind of want a second Barger, Henry Barch, ah, yes. Ah, yes, Henry Bargerville, my good son. Well, if you were a voice acting, which I bet you are, I swear I'd give you probably a bit of a French voice and an uptick voice. One that seems like you won't just punch you in the face. A bit of voice. <laughs> what can I say? So now because the food is right there, why don't we go ahead and build the mess hall right there next to it beautiful build this ah no don't click on that question mark <laughs> build the road around and you may not you guys may not know this but there is actually a whole sector here you can unlock a new gateway a new sector off to the left and right direction so there are doorways here so to have this doorway access to kind of well if i can get a good zoom in this door right here then we have that's going to be great for when we open up the next sector just more access points just more for people to get in there that's kind of like the idea that I'm going on. So let's go to the next term mission and listen to what they have to say. I'm going to be building a little bit in the background as things going to happen. What a wonderful day to embrace our fate, don't you think? I am Henri Barjaville, writer, philosopher, lobbyist, but most of all member of the Market Council. I have taken the liberty of personally arranging an exchange out of courtesy with the Oshanabi, a ship in high orbit belonging to one of our commercial allies, the Ashtangites. Even so, they are a small organization. The Ashtangites are important partners who share the same pragmatic, moralistic, and spiritual outlook as we do. The Ushanabi will provide us with a source of food while carrying out the Tycoon's initial testing. By making it the first exclusive trade partner of the Tycoon, we will demonstrate to our long-term allies that Dolos wishes for them to share in our successes. Please assign a cargo ship so that we can check the trade routines. Administrator, trust in genetic connectors. Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. Okay. A little bit of philosopher, yeah. Can I maximize? So what was he saying? A wonderful day. I've taken a liberty of person. Well, that seems like a problem that we should take care of. Um, so he's very spiritual. He's being very like on to the next stage of the journey. Okay, what do we need here? Event available. First of all, administer. Some crew members are lacking quarters. Team human history. Unnecessary homelessness has always been an indicator of civilization decay. Do not reproduce humanity's basic mistakes aboard the tycoon. Ensure all crew are quarter within 12 cycles. Okay, so we need to, first of all, pause. Okay, do we have an next transmission? We do have Eden. Do you talk while you pause? You do not talk while you pause. Okay, so we need to build stuff up. How do I want to do this? I think, first of all, we need to... I kind of want to build right here through the center. So I'm going to go ahead and dismantle a couple of these stockpiles here, first of all. Get rid of a couple of these stockpiles. I'm going to put a stockpile again. Let's say boom right there. Boom right there. I want to kind of just do this. I want to move them out of the way. I just want them out of the direction of where I'm going to be building stuff. Just so I can kind of have that room back. You know, I just want like more. I don't think I'm going to be using this bottom side anytime soon. The more stockpiles. That's going to be what? Three more. So that means I can do that. Get rid of this stockpile. Get rid of this stockpile. 
that's going to be four getting rid of but we have room right here in this one here on this top side so we should have enough honestly yeah that should be good enough and honestly while we kind of run down through the steel i'm going to then dismantle them as we go along we're gonna we don't need as much we'll get some of our resources back as well so i think i think we'll be doing we'll, we'll be doing good and i can actually probably i'm going to dismantle this building too because that has our food in it and the food can actually you know hang on a second i'm gonna make you steal uh not dismantle building how do i cancel dismantle uh eating you're in the way cancel the dismantle because i'm gonna dismantle this building then this one can just go to steel this steel goes to there that one's more out of the way now when i'm building the center it might be a little bit in the way i don't know okay good now let's let the dialogue play <laughs> while we let all this stuff kind of just build in the background i was building but i heard like all the noise going on of like like building stuff don't need this anymore so we have a different mess hall so i i kind of stopped doing it because i realized it was, it was going over the dialogue okay i've done rambling done rambling let's continue <laughs> Okay, you you want me? I don't know why your dialogue's not uh, popping up there. We want me to do a solar panel to produce more electrical output. That's fine. Uh, but to be fair, I only had electrical draw or extra electrical extra electrical draw because I have all these extra buildings right now, and I'm going to be dismantling a whole bunch of these at the same time. Uh, getting rid of that mess hall too at the same time, but they don't really have anywhere to put their storage until we get these mess halls done. Uh, that's all going to be steel. All steel. Building must be connected. Oh, did they not build the road yet? Oh, I guess they're doing the resources first before they built the road. Just just build the road. Where, where, are you, where, where are you getting more stuff? Oh, they're putting steel in there. Oh, they're putting the food at the top and they're putting the steel down here. Okay, hang on a second. I'm going to build another workshop is what I'm going to do. I'm going to build one, let's say, like right down here at the way bottom. Build a road to it. Try to build a road to it. Hang on. <laughs> Try to build a road to it. Um, High priority that one there. Yeah, I want to high priority that building because then they'll build the road to it. And then we get another builder. I just we need another builder. We need more workers on there. Look at all look at all these risk resources. <laughs> look at the little trucks, all these forklifts. They're all forklift certified. Look at all these forklift chads right now. Okay, close transmission. Let's see what the people are gonna be saying next. Uh wait, hang, I already told you you're you're getting all steel. You're getting all steel. Just get more steel. Okay, there we go. Close transmission. Wait, wait, what, what? Wait, what were they asking me again? Oh, that's right. He wanted more extra solar panels. Uh, you know, sometimes my brain. <laughs> sometimes my brain. It's just, you want extra solar panels. Okay, that's fine. We can get extra solar panels. We need to build a EVA lock. Uh, that is going to help us. Well, EVA. That is. Uh, well, you know, to be fair, some people are not going to know what EVA is. I recently came across a video where a guy was walking around and asking people out in the streets to like pinpoint what they think is like the smallest and like biggest and like rank them you know it's all about like stars galaxy the moon mars like how big something is and stuff like that and people were let's just say i was angry watching the video because i thought it was common knowledge on what is bigger between like a star a galaxy a planet and like your moon like my god like i okay you know what? i don't even want to explain thinking about it just makes me angry and how wrong people were you know that's fine so i will explain eva basically meaning extra ve 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 vehicular yeah extra, extra vehicular activity look i said i knew what it was i don't know i don't know how to pronounce it which i actually i may have pronounced it correctly extra vehicular activity it basically just means spacewalk it, it, eva we need an eva station for basically just just being a, a spacewalk is what it is we just make sure we needed a port to kind of just go on out in space so we need to build ourselves let's see here take a look at uh Docking, well, docking bay, that's actually for, what, what does that say? That's for sh cargo ships, right? Get constructs, mining ships, cargo ships, and science ships. That's right, because he wanted us to bring people aboard. Um, Let's see here. We can probably build that right. So the, the, the sign is in the way. <laughs> Just remove the sign. You tell me you're going to build all these fantastical parts of the buildings, but I can't build my dock here because there's a sign in the way. <laughs> you know, like, no, sector one, you can't do it. Like, all right, fine. You know what? Fair enough. I saw Oh, I guess. All right, build the build the docking bay right there. Um, 
you know what that is a sexy line all the way across and you know what these these roads don't cost anything i may as well just go ahead and just build them across um let's see here i also need houses 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 um what do we want to do here so we're gonna need we're gonna need a lot of stockpile we're gonna need a lot of housing in general how do i want to do this what if i just kind of build through the center right i mean we're gonna need some road right here just do do some road right there to start off with let's build through the center and see where we can kind of stockpile everything so if i were to do let's say a stockpile there and then what if i were to do let's say a house here and then just build this all on the back side so that i want to have a crap ton of uh what do you say? I'm just going to have a crap ton of just like storage in general. Build this all the way across. Beautiful. And then let's say get rid of this. Get rid of this line right here in the center. Just kind of get it out of the way. Three quarters. What, how, many, how many people are homeless right now? 85. And how much does a house hold? 15. So 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, uh, 90, 90. So that should be fine right there and then we can go ahead and move these stockpiles up north one there one there need to build a road back here because that stockpile is facing <laughs> towards towards the side and then resume time I'm going to high can i high priority this i don't think i can i kind of wanted to high priority that stockpile just so to get it out of the way and for the moment yeah for the moment let's go ahead and just kind of build a road across just so they have like you know easier traffic because look they do all have to go around they they have to follow this path before they actually start building up the each like truck has to individually get to its location so the longer it takes for their travel time it does actually matter a little bit so having a road right through the center should help a little bit for when we have to come across here especially going across this entire like <laughs> this big u u shape of a of a, of a road <laughs> sorry we got the dock being built right there fantastic is this going to be dismantled dismantled building dismantled building yes oh right um hmm so we can dismantle this building dismantle this building dismantle this building all the steel should start to consolidate into these other stockpiles i can probably dismantle this building as well get some of our power back because yeah we are running out of power uh, 6895 this one can go to iron so let's go ahead and dismantle this building now because that can fill into the other stockpiles and then go fill up that one right and then let's just start it off right let's do the polymer one there so dismantle this building for the polymers and then we can do steel again i suppose and then just dismantle the next building yeah now we're doing good i think yeah we got a nice style going here we, we we know what we're doing let's go ahead and build a road across right there just go ahead and just kind of get that connection point so they have a straightaway right onto the next area because i mean it seems a little absurd uh now that that stockpile is gone get rid of that oh we still have one more, more road here actually in the way hang on get get rid of that road there we go now we got another stockpile this one can be, I guess, more steel. Just, just, just more steel. You know, we can't go wrong with more steel. <laughs> it's just more and more steel. Uh, we're gonna have to actually delete this road for the moment. Build another stockpile right there. Now we can build a road across it. Let's say. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Yeah, stop it. We got a workshop there. Get rid of that workshop because we got another workshop up here in this top left. We got a workshop here at the north. Um, get rid of maybe this one. Get 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 rid of get get rid of that workshop. Can I not do anything because of the blackouts? Yeah, we can't do anything because of the blackout. Let's let's pause right now. So I need to let's go ahead and pause. Yeah, get rid of the power draw on the docking bay. There we go. Nice. Now we got a little bit more room to work with here. We don't need that there. We need to build a tech lab. We can build the tech lab like right there. That works. And then what about the infirmary? Where is the infirmary right now? 
Ooh, population, infirmary. Ooh, the, ooh, oh, oh, the infirmary fits perfect. Oh, look at that. Look at that. We got a tech lab for researching things. We have a tech lab. Perfect. We, we have an infirmary for healing our people. We have our mess hall right there. Beautiful for our food with our food storage right next door. We have a workshop for our builders. We have some stockpiling. We have some housing. Honestly, okay. I don't like this extra space that we have here. Can I build another crew quarter somewhere? Is this, this ever line up? The question like, does this ever like kind of line up properly for us? I feel like maybe it could. I mean, that, that goes there. What if I were to do, hang on, crew and do another crew quarters like that. Do another stockpile. Oh, now look at that. Now that lines up. I knew that seemed like the, it should line up there. Now that's what I'm talking about. Let's just do more, more iron. Just there's more iron. Get rid of all these stockpiles in the back. Get rid of all this stuff. We don't need them anymore. Dismantle building. Yes. Get rid of everything back there. We don't need them anymore. Get rid of all these extra roads. Get ourselves more consolidated. We have a road right through the center. We have ourselves a beautiful layout here. My God, look at that. Oh, that is sexy. That is sexy. Um, We have a docking bay. That's a docking bay. We we, we don't need two docking bays. Can I actually build a docking? We need an EVA. Docking bay, maintenance, stockpile, mess hall, firmary crew quarters, tech lab. Do we need to we might need to research it let's just dismantle this we don't need that we don't need that uh we need a cargo ship though from polymers we need a mining ship and we're gonna need a science ship so take a look at these the cargo ship is what is going to help us well move cargo around in space obviously the mining ship is what is going to help us mine things in space obviously the science ship is going to help us research things that we find out in space Obviously, I, I don't want to say it obviously, but let's go to the planetary system map. This is our system map. Take a look at all this. So these little like points here, this is all for the science ship. Requires a science ship, waiting for science ship, waiting for science ship. We have all these planets. And then we have all these asteroid rings and things we can take a look at. This is our solar system that we're in right now. We have Mars, Mercury, Uranus, Venus, Earth, you know, the sun. The sun, okay, it is technically called... uh. Uh, our solar system is the soul system, S-O-L. Our solar system is called the soul system, S-O-L. So yeah, I, mean, I, I just know that because of funny enough, because of Elite Dangerous, I learned that through that. So yeah, the soul system, the S-O-L system, uh, this is kind of nice. I mean, I, it has meaning, I guess it sounds like souls. It kind of sounds like, you know, humanity's soul as well in a way. You know, I know it probably has like some like Greek or like Latin meaning, but yeah. So this is the solar system that we're working with at the moment. Uh, so yeah, we we'll keep on moving in We're trying to move through this tutorial phase a little bit quicker We're trying to get rid of all the stuff. But we are close to moving on to the next phase You know, like believe me, we just need to start now getting all of New event Administrator reports and receives relating to Bajavo clan optimization protocols aboard the Taika. Okay, I'll say that three times fast. They indicate that crew members are being overworked. Although those employment contracts make it clear that a high degree of flexibility is required, this situation is beginning to take its toll on morale. It will be problematic to deploy additional crew members to reduce the number of current, concurrently active workplaces. Yes, I will request additional staff from Rio Rosabi. We are building... The cargo ship is now available, so let's pause. Um, fleet management down here at the bottom. So right down here, we have all of our systems. We have an internal construction, our technology tree. Uh, I don't know about policies or resource management just yet. Population management, but fleet management. Cargo ship. Our cargo ship has been finished. Our cargo ship needs to go collect these people. So I'm going to put a high priority. We have three priorities with our cargo ships. We have maximum, medium, low, off. So... We're going to do a maximum on the people to collect. We also have some food to collect as well. I want maximum on food. I want maximum on people. I want maximum on like polymers and like, what is this? Uh, resource available. I, we probably want high priority on that. And like we want high priority on the whole resources. All these other things are things that you can mine. So like iron, you have to mine that. Carbon, you have to mine. Silicone, you have to mine. Ice, you have to mine. Hydrogen, you have to mine. And that is something that we will save. The little blue icon we'll save a little bit for when uh, we advance more into the storyline. 
uh, health is down, but the infirmary is being built. It's being built. Uh, I will high priority that one because we do have somebody who is sick. Get them kind of focused on that because that is going to be a problem. There we go. Yeah, now they're building it. Now they're building it. Look at this little guy. Look at this little guy kind of sitting here just holding his hands out and building it with this little kind of like fiber mesh producer carbo carbon carbon nano ah <laughs> you know what? fair fair turn this stockpile off and now we have enough energy we really need an eva lock but i think we need to research it but hey our tech lab is finished um pro launch eva airlock yes we need 30 science please Research the EVA airlock, uh, cause we need, uh, well, we need an EVA airlock. We need to go outside so we can build these solar panels that you want me to build so badly that I want so badly and that we need so badly. <laughs> there we go. Get rid of that stockpile. If you can get rid of this one down here. Uh, what else are you guys building right now? Shouldn't be nothing. Um, you know, I can probably dismantle this one at the very minimum. Because that can fit into the other stockpiles. That one probably can't fit into all of them. You know, I don't need to dismantle this. Cancel destruction. I just need to get rid of the iron that's inside it. There we go. Do that, but I need to turn it off. So anything else that I can turn off right now? I, mean, I can probably turn off the polymer stockpile because I don't need that at the moment, right? Like, it's I don't need to build anything with polymers. I can just go ahead and turn that off for extra power and then keep on the iron one while they kind of move resources back and forth. Um, this needs to be turned off for them to take stuff out of it, I suppose. That one's rebuilding. Okay. Planetary map. We have a... Is the science ship not done yet? Science ship is not done yet. <laughs> science ship is not done yet. Okay, let's start getting rid of some of these roads then. Uh, we don't need that. Get rid of this road just kind of start deleting all these roads we don't need all this stuff this one has a connection on the north point it only needs a single connection point get rid of all that all these roads all these stuff we don't need all this extra stuff these roads going to cross i think will be fine because that's kind of our whole premise that what we're going to do let's go ahead and build a road right there actually and get rid of all that beautiful Come on, build the road. Build the road. Build the road. Builders, there you are. There he is. Now he's building the road. Yeah, now they have a now they have a path. There go all the resources. All of them they're forklift certified. Straight into the stockpile. Get rid of that last stockpile. We don't need that anymore. Get it out of the way. It's annoying. We can have ourselves a nice refined environment. Science ship is almost done. Wait for it. And complete beautiful okay let's go to the moon wait for science ship um tesla the science ship is called tesla i knew it i knew it this company's called spacex i knew it it's not ixion it's exion i fucking knew it <laughs> oh you already arrived at your destination jesus um let's see here summary of intelligence on the abandoned base the base is out of commission auxiliary systems are operational and could be used to restore power transmission from the tesla's team we received the UN base and it is abandoned and depressurized. The surveillance system is still operational, awaiting orders. Uh, should we exploit the security vulnerability? Hacking into the surveillance system, the Tesla's team will access the base's central systems and retrieve any confidential data present. Or we'll dismantle the base and to prepare useful resources for extraction. Well, I mean, I can exploit it first and then I dismantle it, right? I mean, I feel like that would make sense, right? Ex yeah, I'm going to exploit it. It's going to take one day to do that. Exploit, find out what we can find in the, uh, in the data. Uh, we also have a mining ship now. I want to prioritize, uh, I want to prioritize iron and silicone, then do carbon second and then ice last and hydrogen last for no particular reason. I guess we'll just kind of find out in the future. Like we're going to manage all this stuff 10 times over every single time, like whenever we need like something new, but we do have the science ship has finished moon abandoned base. That is a beautiful picture on the background and base there. So I've got the earth in the background. <clears throat> we hacked into the main computer system. It has the order to retrieve several re relevant research papers and data access. 10 science ready for extraction. Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay. That is good to know. So we can, we can get the data first and then dismantle it. So if we wanted to save time, we could have just dismantled it immediately, but why do that? So yeah, now dismantle the base, get some resources out of it. That seems good. 
Um, we're doing fine. Something in the planetary system has our attention. That should be that. Uh, take a look at our base. That is interior view. It has been a hot minute since I played this game. Like, you know, it's kind of funny since it's been a while since I've ever played. I, I love, I love this game. I love playing it, but it has been a while since I've played it. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and escalate time. We did get some of the science, right? So I guess we kind of need to wait for this to finish. So we, let's do, yeah, just keep time going ahead because we need to wait for this to finish and then get the science so that way we can research the EVA airlock, get the EVA airlock, build more solar panels. And then now once we build more solar panels, we can build more buildings. 30 alloys and 90 science, hello? Yes, okay, so from that we are doing fantastic. They dismantled the base and we got like, we got all the resources out of the base. That is fantastic, that is beautiful. And the cargo ship came and took up the steel already. It just, it's hard to see because we're so close. It's the moon. It's very quick travel time. So it's like almost immediately because they're right next to each other. <laughs> like I, I saw it for half a, like for a split second there. I don't know if anyone else saw it. You know, feel free to rewind and get that extra watch time. <laughs> Take a look. Yeah, there was a little cargo ship, but you'll see more here in the future. You know, I, I'm probably going to keep this episode going as long as... Probably once we kind of do, once we finish the tutorial area, because it does actually take a little while to get out of this kind of tutorial area, longer than I expected, honestly. Yes, Eden? Head of Medicine. Well, I'm going to go ahead and bring this science ship over to Saturn real quick. Wait, did he say Munchie? Wasn't that the other guy, Munchie? Wait, who, who has the last name of Munchie? I mean, I, I don't know. Okay, okay, I don't know. Well, before we listen to the next transmission, they are about to talk, but I'm going to go ahead and try to read what's going on with Saturn because that's probably going to take a few days. I want this to run in the background. Signature trace from the EKP system has been detected near Saturn. EKP technology is exclusive property of Dulles, but records indicate that the company has not deployed any missions to the sector. The signature will soon enter the atmosphere of, of Saturn. Ooh, um... Uh, let's see here. I can either attempt to locate the debris in orbit. Once the signature is passed through Saturn's atmosphere, the Tesla's team will analyze the EKP residues and verify the signature's origin. Or I can send a team to investigate. The Tesla's team will perform EVA to locate and investigate the signature. I kind of want them to go EVA, but that sounds more dangerous. It's about to enter Saturn, and you want them to go EVA on it? Yeah, you know why not? Let's let's pull some risk. Yeah, it's Jerry. We'll, we'll, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, right? It'll, it'll be good. Nothing can happen to them. All right, next transmission. That'll happen in three days. Dolo's expert in compartmentalism and medicine, and a member of the Marduk Council. I'm glad to finally meet you, even in this digital manner. Your psychological test results were quite impressive. My friend and colleague, Philip Stanford, couldn't be here today, so I will take the role of introducing you to the final stages of the Vol engine integration. Before we get into that, however, we would like you to complete the testing station's exploration and enhancement capabilities. You'll then be able to begin researching the EVA airlock and assess its compatibility with the Tycoon's core systems. I hope that the work of our team will ensure that you're equipped to deal with most situations you encounter up there. Before I leave you, Stanford would like me to remind you that space is a far less fanciful and forgiving environment than science fiction would have us believe. It would be wise to remember that. I will be very wise to remember that. And I also just realized, or I kind of realized as we're switching through there, that the sound actually sound, well, the, the dialogue sounds different between the inside and the outside. Okay, well, yeah. I'm fine, Danmito, in a digital manner, your psychological test results were quite impressive. Well, thank you. Yes, I'm quite insane. I know it's off the charts, I you could say. <laughs> so Saturn has been finished. The prototype, the prototype rocket sent by the UN seems to use a variation of EKP. We have stripped it down and recovered schematics. And science. Okay, cool. Yeah, so we are collecting science. And did we ever finish the EVA airlock? Anything else to find there? No. Okay, send that all the way out to Mars. That's going to take a minute for the science ship to travel that far. A technology tree. Yeah, we must have finished it then. We need an insect farm. It raises insects, converting them into one food after one cycle. We need that to produce more food because we are... I think we're out of food so uh we've been kind of busy eva airlock though where do we want to build the, i guess we can just build right up against the sign right there it seems good enough i suppose yeah why not 90 iron for that oh boy that is a lot <laughs> how much that 12 
12 power usage as well. Ooh, we are going to run out. Uh, well, the tech lab also takes 12. So I suppose we could take, we could turn off the tech lab when this gets finished. Because we don't need to necessarily complete our research right now. We just need to build the solar panels that are outside. We're going to need the polymers, I think, back maybe. Um, can I get rid of steel there? So they empty that, go into the other locations, turn off that stockpile. Beautiful. A uh, science ship has arrived at a destination. We are kind of getting some things going. Mars. The UN has established a facility on Mars. As crews are currently lacking materials required to repair a critical fault in the oxygen supply system. They've submitted an official request, request to those for an aid. Ooh, they need emergency oxygen. They need... Um, repair the fault in exchange for resources. Repair the fault in exchange for research data. Oh, uh... Refuse to help the facility. Oh, no. I, I kind of want research data. I kind of want to research data. Yeah, I repair the fault in exchange for research data seems the most important. So it's going to take 10 steel and 10 polymers to uh, fix that. And we can tell our cargo ship to go do that. That seems fair enough. Yeah, cool. Great. Ah, yeah, there goes the power, right? Uh, so turn off the tech lab. So we have, let's see here. EVA airlock repairs up to 48 units of hull per cycle for four units. Okay, so it is going to be constantly repairing our whole integrity of the ship. But we also need external construction. Now, this is what we needed. Small solar panel plus 40 power for 10 polymers. Yes. And we have different sets. We have solar panel set one and solar panel set two. We can build two solar panels. So we're going to be getting plus 80 energy. Oh, baby. And that is all me being built through the... Uh, through this EVA airlock. That is beautiful. Yeah, they are going to be going through that. Th that's exactly what we needed. Um, I am a little... Hopefully, we get that done soon, though, because we are going to need those insect farms to research because we are... I think we are, like, officially out of food. So, that's, like, a problem. Um, it's probably a problem. Uh, I, I turned you I turned you on. There we go. I was sitting here like, why are they not building? There we go. I could have swore I turned the polymers back on. Now it's going. Now they're building. We have 15 polymers left. We only need 10 more to build the other solar panels. We'll have five left over. That's not too bad. Yeah, food. Yeah, we need to start feeding people. I know. A little bit late. A little bit late. We just need the power to get constructed. Here we go. There's one. Beautiful. Fantastic. Don't, you know, don't worry. We got this. We've got this all figured out. Um, We do not have it figured out yet. I'm just going to wait for the other solar panels to finish. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, beautiful. Great. We have finished the solar panels. Turn off the EVA airlock. Turn on the tech lab. Let's go to the planetary system map. What have you figured out at Mars? The oxygen supply system has been repaired and the relationship between Dulles and our competitor has improved by 42%. Oh, now that is in the plus. Margarines, we can work together as a better conglomerate con mega monopolist type of company and absolutely establish control over the entire planetary system, even in Proxima Centauri. Oh, baby, I'm seeing profits. <laughs> and data listening protocol. We got 10 science out of it. That's not bad. I'll get a little bit of science out of that so we can kind of research more here. Uh, keep time going. We are pause. Um, technology tree. Keep on going. We're at 78. We need 80%. Yeah, we really need these food farms because we are... Uh, this is dangerous, bad. We're out of food. We are completely out of food. Um, are you done yet? 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, baby. Beautiful insect farms. Raise this insect, converting them in one food after one cycle. It is 20 iron. Um, we can how many do we need? Does it say how much we eat per day? One food per 10 crew members. How many we have nearly a hundred crew members, so we need 10 food is required to feed all well, 10 food is required to feed all 90 crew members in the sector. A meal served every five cycles. Okay. So 10 food for I need 10 food in five cycles. And if I make one food every cycle with these insect farms, if I were to make like three of them, like, you know, I, to make to make 10 in five cycles, I would need two, right? Two, four, six, five, no, two, <laughs> two, four, six, eight, ten. In five cycles, that'd be enough. But I want more. I want to have a surplus. So what if we do like, I don't know, like six? Why don't we do like six? Why don't we just go ahead and just stockpile hard? on some of this stuff right 
I mean, yeah, we should be able to stockpile pretty hard on some of the stuff. And then just maybe just some of the stuff will be used in emergency. I mean, three will be good. Maybe let's just do four. We don't need to. We don't need to do a full six all the way through. It seems a bit excessive. So that's going to be 20, 40, 60, 80 iron. That's going to be basically one of these stockpiles. We can consolidate then in two stockpiles. We're going to have 200 iron left over. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, do we have anything left over for the science ship to do? Anything around here? Not seeing anything just yet. Uh, research. Maybe as well do more research. Probe launcher. Constructs probes to use to explore planetary systems for resources and anomalies. Yes. Okay. We need the probe launcher to go ahead and take a look if there are anything anomalous around in the area. More research. More stuff to find. You know, maybe more stuff to like mine or anything of the sort. Uh, we do have 98 people. All 98 people are hungry. They do not have enough food. That is bad. Um, <laughs> that is bad. Luckily, the food, the food is starting to get made. Um, you know what? Hang on. Do we get full resources when we dismantle? Dismantle building. Um, I think we get full resources back when we dismantle stuff. So why don't we go ahead and... Oh, we can rotate. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. I kind of like keeping this angle, though. Um, if we can dismantle stuff and get full resources back, why don't we go ahead and actually just build extra insect research, uh, insect places right now and we'll dismantle them in the future. I just want to start getting a surplus of food. I want to get on top of that because we are starving at the moment. We have waited too long. We got to catch up to the people who are hungry. We probably need to like catch up and then start stockpiling a little bit more. So yeah, it's going to be a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> it's a problem. So we can turn on this stockpile, turn off that uh i actually want to go ahead and turn that one to food a sector is being overworked. overworked overworked we have 126 workers are required for the sector we have 98 workers available in the sector okay so yeah they are being overworked because they we don't have enough workers to fill in all these stations that is a bit of a problem uh we're kind of moving our resources around at the moment uh I'm going to put food. I'm going to put a second food stockpile right here next to the mess hall. I'm moving that iron over to this iron. We have this one stockpile that is still off. We don't really need it for anything at the moment. Take a look at the fleet management. Nothing is out there to be collected. These numbers at the top also show you what is to be collected and nothing it needs to be collected right now, which is good. Um, Doing fantastic. Yeah, all, all the all the steels moved over. We got all of our insects now. We're starting to we are still overworked, which is fine we have more chance for accidents so it's not necessarily fully fine but now we only have eight hungry people we only have eight hungry people now okay beautiful yeah there we go now we're starting to get food five six we already have six food and it only costs 10 to feed everybody resolve starvation as soon as food is available yes turn that on okay why, why would that not be on by default good yeah that helped the people i guess it's gonna wait for the cycle because they want people to I don't know, wait for the cycle to happen to know when it all happens or something. I, I don't know. I don't, you know what I mean? But like that. Yeah, we, we may as well just go ahead and freeze all the starvation now. Uh, food, not enough food. Sector is going to feed all crew. We will have enough food. Yes, we now we have enough food. Good. Yeah, 10 is now stored there. You can store up to like what? 20 or 30 looks like. Oh, store up to 50 food is used to serve 500 crew members. So this one mess hall can serve 500 people. Wow. OK, that is a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. Um, have we researched the probe? We have researched the probe. And look at that. It fits right there in that beautiful little slot. Oh, uh, that is fantastic. Uh, we don't really need the EVA airlock right now, right? Because we don't need it to re really repair anything. Our whole integrity is doing fine. That's doing fine. Yeah, build up the uh, probe launcher. Going through a lot of our steel at the moment. I can probably just turn off the collection point on that. Then turn off the stockpile once this is empty. Because I'm not going to need it. You know, why even have the stockpile on? May as well, you know, micromanage all the power output. Beautiful. There we go. It's not in use. Just turn it off. Like, turn off those damn lights. <laughs> you know? Uh, we are stockpiling enough food. I will delete these insect farms. Uh, probably, like, when we get these things completely full. If it's going to cost 10 food to feed 100 crew members. I mean, it's basically, it's basically one every 10 people, right? So as soon as it goes to 101, am I going to need 11? So 11, one made every cycle, that's going to be two to feed all 10, but they're going to need three to feed 11. So that's going to be good. Three will feed us in the four stockpile. So I can probably delete two of these when we're full. I'll delete two. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. 
just doing quick math inside my head i hope you guys are keeping along uh auto build the probe launcher pop 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 please it costs ooh, it costs three polymers to make them it's not quite aware that we only have five well now we have two <laughs> now we have no polymers left uh maybe we will not yeah don't have auto build on we are out of polymers um anything to collect from the people nothing out here in the outside world what else does it want me to do right now are at the very top list finish the implementing the volt engine via the build panel in the external view Ooh, okay external view um, what does it want us to do? External ex construction, engines or external system. Volt engine, 100 alloys. Okay, wants us to build the Volt engine. There we go. Okay, nice. Now that's going to start. Now we need the EVA airlock online. You may as well. We have 33 energy. We have more than enough to stockpile it all. We have like 130 steel. We're going to have like, what, like like 30 left over after this? Not a lot. Not, I'm telling you right now, not a lot left over. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of let that build up. And I'm actually going to use the restroom real quick. We have been recording for about a better part of an hour. I did stop halfway through because I forgot what I was talking about. Then I had to go look at the footage real quick to make sure I knew what I was talking about. Um, Was the EVA, the, the, the extra vehicular. I'm like, what was I talking about? That's right, extra EVA. <laughs> so, but the, I will be right back while I let that build up. Beautiful. Okay, so we're getting extra crew members and supplies kind of taken to us. So we got the Volt Engine complete the stockpiles they're doing okay we actually have ooh, we have 20 stockpiles here are you guys gonna store 50 overall kind of stock at 20 right now next service is in 1.3 cycles okay so it gives you a lot of stats here tutorial power we're doing fine at all that uh how many people are they sending us uh crap did you already did you already collect everybody cargo ship is working fast hello <laughs> oh weird 198 198 hello pause real quick pause um so we have 78 people who are homeless all of a sudden my god uh okay so crew quarters this again that's 15 so 15 30 45 60 75 90 15 30 well that's gonna be 90 so do i even have 90 i don't have 90 alloy uh i don't have enough for all this how am i gonna build all these to house all these people am i gonna be able to get well, we do have the probe now, right? So let's go to the planetary system probe launcher. Um, listen, so the next transmission is going to happen soon. We need to launch this probe. It's being kind of covered up. Oh, uh, hang on. So we have, so can I close this out? Look, okay. 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 Let's collect our thoughts. This is getting in the way of showing what I want to show you guys. So let's go ahead and listen to the next transmission first, and then I'll show you guys without this UI in the way, because otherwise you're going to miss out how exactly this system works. And I'm excited to show you kind of because it's a unique, it's a unique way of kind of like finding stuff out in the wild. So let's tr next transmission. What do you want? Uh, play. <laughs> of preparation, calibration, and verification were successfully completed. You must now start the full binding procedure. Dolo's protocols now deem you competent to gather resources, knowledge, and test colonization routines once you reach Proxima Centauri. Before you do so, Vanir Dolos, Marduk Council Founder and Dolos CEO, wants to talk to you. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, so well, we're gonna talk to the actual real founder of, of all this this project and company. Okay, that's cool. And uh yeah, things are just gonna keep on building in the background. Uh next transmission. It says that we're ready to go on to the next area and we're ready to start mining stuff, but I hope you give me a little bit more resources because I could really go some more for more some more I need some more resources, please. Uh <laughs> next transmission. Hello, administrator. I'm glad to see that you have managed to complete your assignments in preparation for this unique moment in history. You must understand that this is not simply another chapter in humanity's story. The book of our life on Earth is over, and we stand now at its epilogue. It saddens me to think that there are many who have yet to comprehend the reality of our situation. We've endured endless cycles of war, crisis, and famine. Still, the worst is yet to come. There are others like Dolos who have prepared for this outcome, but most of our kind remain sheltered from the horror of the predicament we find ourselves in. This pale ghost of civilization will wither and die, and with it, the tenets and values of the past. 
As we prepare to leave this system for the first time, perhaps we must decide which fragments we will pick up and take forward with us. Through Dolos, I am offering mankind an alternative means of survival. The Tycoon is a tablet upon which we will carve our new history. Do you recognize why I have done all of this? Having foreseen our fate, I became fixated on altering it. I set about fashioning the ropes and tying the knots that would bind together this magnificent ship. It is true that our time in this world is brief, but at least I can rest assured knowing that my legacy will endure for eons. Farewell, Administrator. For the few who stand in the light and the many who dwell in the dark, you carry the fate of us all. All right, yeah, so basically they're saying, like, it is all up to you to go, like, find this new system and, like, build civilization anew and, like, go ahead and just establish a, you know, interplanetary system of, like, you know, human is, human civilization. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Just go do that. It's fine. Yeah, it, everyone's supporting you. Cool, cool, great. <laughs> you know, no pressure. Okay, so launch probe. This is what I was trying to show you before, is that we have this entire kind of, like, bar system here off to the right so we have our little, little probe here as we can kind of move around the system as we kind of like just wherever we want to launch it and as we get closer to a source of like let's this system science is going to show us where it is based on how close we're getting so as we get further away it gets less as we get closer it gets more and more and more and more until it gets to fully green green right there it takes a little finical we're trying to find it exactly and there it is there's something sciencey worth way out there in kind of like the black cosmos of the solar system let's go ahead and launch a probe out there and see what it is i don't know if there's anything more than that because they haven't given us many polymers like this is still kind of the tutorial area so i imagine they wouldn't imagine like i imagine that they wouldn't think that i would uh be able to explore everything unless there are multiple things and it's kind of like whatever you choose is just whatever you end up choosing like what you find type of situation you know you get one chance and that's kind of what direction you go in uh technology and upgrades we're doing good we have no iron left over though we have nothing um crap so how do i want to do this right so we have homeless people we have the probe launcher i kind of want to get rid of the probe launcher maybe the eva airlock i don't know we're completely out of iron we could get rid of the tech lab, right? I mean, do we have anything else to research? We do have other things to research. We have 31 science right now, and everything here costs 45. But we are about to find something out here in the wild. So let's go ahead and just maximize time. Probe is about to land. Get the science ship moving over here. What is this? At this point, you're breaching the terms of your contract within Dulles AEC. Further actions can and will result in summary dismissal. Hey, wait a second. No. <laughs> Unauthorized access. Sign ship. Go. <laughs> well, I, I mean, hey, if you want, if I've, if I've ever seen a cause to go be like, but I want to, then this is the case. Unauthorized access. If you authorize this, you're going to lose your job. Too late. Going there. Sign ship. Full blast. <laughs> Sign ship is on its way. Full speed. Come on. We also should be building up on the food as well, right? Yeah, we're doing pretty good with like storing 20 there, 51 there, 37 there. We're doing great. Back to the planetary map. Little science ship that killed that little tiny blue pill of a science ship looking place. It has Inaka Shur, Kelly Doyle, Guadalupe Escobar, Guadalupe Escobar, Sabina Voltevac, uh, Misa, M Misa what? I can't tell. Oh wait, no, Misa Rabazazika my american pronunciation i'm sorry um <laughs> um so we're gonna be breaching in terms of contract uh let's see here nailing protocol crate temporary easement contact the station outer hope uh opening rat back door into ministry terminal burrs attempt to contract hidden dull station outer hope sure yeah contact it Ekun station this is monarch council member radio nodek you are not authorized to interface with outer hope the purpose of the facility is to allow those to continue with the development of his highly classified projects Far away from the prying eyes of our competitors and the media conglomerates of Earth. Do not do you not realize the whole world is watching you at this moment and that your presence here could jeopardize the entire operation? I will be filling an official complaint with Vanier himself unless perhaps you can do something for me that may change my mind. Resume data listening protocol. Hello? I proceed to be on this point. Uh hang on so attack of this okay wait do you realize president can do something for me to change my mind send resources to outer hope you want me to send you 30 
partnership with Transport Resources to Outer Hope, refusing to propose that Tesla and his team will leave Outer Hope. I kind of want to send them resources. We don't have 30, but we can find 30. So I, I kind of want to see what happens. Maybe we'll get science out of it. I don't know. I've never actually done this in my own playthrough. So hang on. So let's pause. We have it on super fast mode right now. Um, We don't really need the EV. We don't need the tech lab right now, right? We don't have enough science to research anything. So let's get rid of the tech lab. Because that's like, what, 75? Yeah, that's 75. Hopefully 30 of it goes straight to the docking bay first. So let's resume time. See what happens. Yeah, it's all going straight to the docking bay. Beautiful. <laughs> Look at that. Can the cargo ship fit it all? Yeah, the cargo ship fit it all. All right, and then they're going to dismantle the rest and put it into the houses. Are they going to have enough for that house? They are, but not enough for the final house. So there are still going to be some homeless. The cargo ship is moving along with, what, what's his name? Tula Nemean. Come on. Tula Nemean. It's hard, it's hard to keep it on. <laughs> we are two two iron short well i mean i don't know what else you i mean I, I i guess i can start getting rid of some of these insect farms right i mean i don't really need all these insect farms i i, I plan on getting rid of two of them anyway so i'll take some of that iron back that should be good uh science team unauthorized access okay so Thank you, Administrator. Now leave. I will show that those issues a public statement that rationalizes our contact here at the edge of the solar system. I'll placate Vania for now, but you'll need to explain your actions in due course. You might have heard we're working on the next iteration of the Tycoon, the Pro... the Protagoras. The, the, the pro, 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 the, ty <laughs> the Tycoon operation must succeed if we are to achieve our goal of bringing humanity into a new era. Trust is genetic... Canadas? Self-similar space will reveal the pattern. All right, so basically they're working on like the Tycoon 2.0. So they're working on another arc. So we get two of those little electronics and we get 20 polymers. Ooh, okay. So that's good. Um, We are going to need a storage for those. Do that real quick. Doing a little bit better now. We don't need that stock stockpile on. The cargo ship should be able to go gather everything. There he is. And he gathered everything all at the same time. My God. <laughs> Uh, let's make one more probe. I mean, he is getting 20 polymers and bringing them back. Let's make one more probe and see if there's going to be anything else out in the system. We can't really check without a probe. Can't do like a probe launch and like check what's out here because I just don't have a probe to check. So let's build one more probe. It always costs three polymers. We have zero. But we have two in here. So we only need one more and he's bringing back 20. So we'll have 19, which is beautiful. And speed of the devil. There he is coming on in. Drops off all the resources. Build up the probe. There is that construction timer. We are close to going into like the main part of the plot line. So, hey, don't worry. We are close to actually getting into where I know we're probably getting close to the end of the episode. We're doing whatever. But there is our probe. We are getting close to finding out if there's anything more to discover here. Not seeing anything. Thing. not seeing any of these lines pop up anywhere nothing extra to really discover around here so it's just kind of extra stuff to bring with you okay well i gotta say DGDs. i think we are essentially ready i mean I, we should be good to go uh how much iron do we have we have 20 with 18 we have so we have what 38 or oh, it tells us here at the very top we have 38 iron not a lot hopefully we can find more we should be ready to go. Do we have to do anything on the exterior engines, internal systems? We can make for 15 polymers. We can make another solar panel. We have 19 polymers. We have 46 available energy. So let's not waste it right now. Um, we need to let's see here. Move the tycoon into orbit of the moon. Okay. Um, I click on the tycoon, and in 0 0.7 cycles. All power from the main grid will be diverted to the EKP systems during the 0 0.7 seconds tycoon movement. Sectors will be powered by batteries during this time. Okay. Ooh, baby, look at that beautiful cinematic background. Oh, that Earth is looking fantastic. There goes the tycoon. So it said that everything's going to be... Okay, yeah, we're out of power while we move because everything goes to the EKP system or, you know, the movement system. It initiate the vol jump via the button in the planetary system map. 
All engine status ready for activation. Okay, well, DigiDs, are you ready for the, like, to the, it is going to be the end of the episode, but are you ready for what is, uh, I, I love Ixion. Okay, I, I kind of hope that this is the series that wins. <laughs> but you know what? The YouTube algorithm and the viewers will decide. So again, remember, we are doing the competition. If you want this video, if you want more episodes of this series, make sure to share it around, like the video, comment down below. The one that gets the most interaction will get an entire week of episodes. And or, you know, in this case, we could probably finish the game in that week's time. So yeah, look forward to it and uh, try to get this video to win. If you want this one to be the one that gets more episodes made on it, maybe we'll have another opportunity in the future. So it won't be the last we'll probably hear of it. Um, other than that, uh, yeah. Let's get ready for the vol jump. I don't think we have anything else left to discover, right? We have nothing else in the probe one last scan. I'm not just being dumb and just like somehow missing it. Just kind of like scan the, the mouse all over the place. Nope, not seeing it rise up anywhere. Nothing to find. Um, we are doing good on food. We have like 38 iron. We have all this stuff ready. We're about as prepared as we can be do. We have no more homeless. Yeah. All right. Let's do the jump. We are ready. See you on the other side. It's going to it's going to take 0 0.5 cycles. Hang, hang on a second. Uh, yeah, let's commence jump. I, I hope everyone's back. I don't know if they are or not. If it counts. Uh, commence. Let's go. Earth, our home, she is unique. Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand in hand with those who, like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the full engine.
Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Several anomalies detected. Multiple digital security breaches found within full jump routines. Full engine critically damaged. Hull integrity compromised. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar system. We are receiving no communication signals from Earth. Likelihood of ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Activating Marduk survival protocols. New mission objective established. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. Urgent issues requiring immediate attention. Increase food production output. Restore hull integrity. Is, is that all you have? Two things you need to do. Civilization has been destroyed and uh, you need more food and you need to restore the whole integrity. <laughs> well, yeah, Digit E. So that is, hang on, let me go ahead and pause here. That is our situation right now. We have come back to what is Earth essentially in the future because when we jumped, I think we've like cascaded through time of some sorts. And when we jumped, we uh, annihilated the moon in the background uh, by, I suppose, by some aspects of just being, having a, I don't know, a, a jump drive just destroyed the moon nearby. So everything has been destroyed. We are the surviving civilization of, of all of human civilization. We are a, a wandering arc of humans waiting for an exoplanet to habit, you know, habitatize and stuff like that. And it is a very interesting concept. We are just barely getting into the game. But hey, if you want to see more, <laughs> if you want to see more, I know, I know. If you want to see more, you have to like the video. Make, just hit that little thumbs up button, comment down below. Like, hey, I watched the whole video. Something simple. Like, hey, you know, hey, I like this game. I want to see more. Something simple. You know, hey, let me know down below in the comments. Because that way we know that this game with the most interaction is going to be the one that's going to be able to get an entire week of episodes made on it. If it doesn't win, then you know, hey, there will be opportunities maybe in the future. So keep an eye out for those. Keep an eye on community posts. Keep an eye on the channel for all those videos. So you may as well subscribe to keep an eye out and all that stuff. So thank you, DigiDs, for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the game. I love Ixion. I enjoyed the game. It's fun to play. You know, some different long-form content, which, you, which we don't typically always do on the channel. Some good long-form content on the channel every once in a while is nice. So... Thank you for watching the video. I still don't know how to do any of these outros, but if there's one thing I can always guarantee you, is I will be to see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.